Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since we've done a video, I think. Uh, kids are just showing me around the barn here. It's been a really busy summer, just doing a lot of stuff. And, and then you got to evaluate where you can best spend your time, I guess. So uh, as much as we do enjoy putting up videos, it doesn't really uh, profit of a profit us any. And uh, we got to just kind of use our time or wisely, I guess. So Anissa has been real busy with canning and stuff too. She does the editing, so it's kind of hard to keep up with all of that stuff. But hopefully as things slow down here, we can start putting up some more videos. Kids are just showing me behind the barn here. This is where we had the pigs last year. It's changed a lot, but we had a pen built up back here, up to here to the barn, and the pigs used to be in here. And uh, we fed lots of tomatoes and peppers and things last year. And so Waylon was just showing me that we have a whole volunteer tomato patch growing here. I don't know if you can see the tomatoes hanging up in there. There's a whole patch of them. Here. Sorry, I'm moving a little quick. In these plants, here you can see one growing on that one. These are all tomato plants in here. As well as he says there's another patch on the other side. So we're going to go look over there now. So here we had this area scraped off. We're hoping to have a barnyard here yet before winter. Oops, sorry, wait a And uh, all the dirt's been piled up here. And apparently they're growing. Oh yeah, I can see them right here. What is it? If you look straight up, look. Can you see something up there? If I look straight up, what do I... Oh, there's pumpkins in there too. Yeah, he's right. There's pumpkin. I see the yellow flowers there from the pumpkin plants. Mm -hmm. So all the stuff we just fed them, all the seeds end up in a manure. And, and uh, at that point, we couldn't really clean this up for manure. Sorry. So it just kind of get uh, every, all, everything got scraped up on this pile. So now they're growing there randomly. That's just weeds there, bud. But there's pumpkins up there. And uh, lots of tomatoes by the looks of it. These are tomato plants here. And here, and all along here, this is all tomatoes. Oh, there's pretty big ones. some big tomatoes in there? Yeah. Let's see some. Oh, yeah, that's a huge patch. Look at them all in here. Loads of tomatoes up in there. It's kind of neat. Things just take uh, root. So, a lot of times when you uh, get stuff from the store, and try to plant those seeds. A lot of times they don't work for whatever reason. They're like a hybrid and they won't grow. But the odd time, we do have some success. Last year we had some volunteer pumpkin patches as well that uh, we were feeding. We feed pumpkins to our animals in the fall and stuff. It helps with parasites. And uh, in those areas, the pumpkins seem to grow. So we had two spots last year. One where we had the boar down in the field and another spot where we had the cows and the chickens. Uh, at that point, we only had buttercup, the milk cow her calf and some chickens uh, all around the old chicken coop. I don't know if you remember, that was our first winter. And so the next year, all around there, we had lots of wild pumpkins growing too. So pretty cool to see that. Yeah, while we're here, might as well look at the calves a little bit. A little dirty in here, we need some bedding and we need a fresh bales of hay. So Wes is coming with that right now. And then uh, we use that as bedding right away as well. So lots of fertilizer in here. I clean both of these out and we uh, spread that out on the field. One of the backfields that we're going to plow this year. These guys did really well, especially the big two. These two are going to go with the bull here soon. And then that big red one there is a steer. He's still going to go out on pasture, but that's freezer meat next year. And then these guys are still growing. they got a long way to go. The goats and the sheep come through the fence. There's a hole in here that keep coming through. This is her baby. This is the one that she was feeding? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So this goat was looking after her. She lost her baby goat. And her mom didn't want to look after her, so we put her on her. And they looked after each other. It's pretty cool. And then over here, we got the rest of the sheep. They've really grown. The lambs are huge. These are the baby goats. These two here are kid goats from this year. They've grown really well as well. Sheep, you yeah, like them. The sheep are doing good. And they need a new bale of hay here too. I just spread out what was left. So they're all over the place eating that up right now. Papa. Did really, really well. You fit through there too? Don't show the goats that. They'll get out. Now we'll go to the pig pen. Might as well see the geese on the way by. We just got a whole bunch of tomatoes. And uh, some of them are getting quite mushy and rotten, so we're feeding them to the animals. They don't mind them. I was surprised to see these ducks as well as the turkeys just swallowing those tomatoes whole. Not focusing very good. There we go. Swallowing them whole. There's the pig pen. I cannot remember. I think these little guys are on camera. Pretty sure they were. So they have grown enormously. We were also given a pile of milk as of late. So 
So this is all, uh, I know it looks gross, but that's whey water. The milk is actually separated now. And there's chunks of cheese as well as uh, whey. Like they're in one liter bags and they've separated. So that's why it's kind of a yellowy looking liquid. That's just the whey. And she's fishing for chunks of cheese. You can see them all over her nose. There, she just found another one. I can show you that in the bags here shortly. But these guys are doing good. And then they got tomatoes to eat here as well. The strings in there? Oh yeah, you better get that out. We don't want that in the manure. So very happy piggies. So that's bagged milk. We never buy milk. We, we have our own obviously, but this was uh, all going bad. So we were given it. But you can see it's separated. So we have a chunk of cheese in here and the rest is whey. And so as it ferments for the first little while, it's kind of gross. And then uh, now the smell's gone. You open this up, it's just it's kind of like water basically. And you have this chunk of cheese. Look at a little brick of cheese. Can't get really, really a better shot than that of it. But there's one in each bag and uh, the pigs absolutely love it. I got the mama pig in here with the babies. They fish for the cheese. And then I've got two other pigs in here. They're about a hundred pounds. They just drink the whey and leave the cheese. They're not so interested in it, but sure love it. And it helps them grow. And it's still good actually, uh, believe it or not. I know it sounds gross because it's fermented and kind of gone bad, you would think, but it never really goes bad. It just changes. It just alters what it was. And uh, I actually had a little piece of that cheese yesterday. Didn't eat a lot of it, but I mean, it tastes fine. And I'm still living. There we go, Mama Hen. She only have three chickies left now. She hatched out uh, seven, I think, originally, but eight. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, uh, life's a little hard on them. So a couple of them drowned in the water bowl there yesterday. Well, no, yesterday morning we found one the morning before that we found one. We put another water bowl out for them, but they went in the sheep water bowl, and of course, they can't swim too good. It's a beautiful sight having a chicken with some little chicks. We also still have, we still have a significant fox problem and uh, we've been seeing coyote tracks again. So we haven't seen them since last fall. Haven't heard any coyotes. We had lots of them last year. I uh, actually did quite a number on our chicken pen when they were out in the pasture. And then uh, after deer season, we haven't heard a coyote since. Now I see some tracks again. So I don't know how many are left. I know there was an effort made here in the area to, uh, to call their numbers. So, I, again, I don't know how successful that was, but I'm assuming they did a decent job because I haven't heard or seen any coyotes in a while. But now I've been uh, seeing tracks again. Haven't heard them yet and haven't seen any problems. I think most of our problems is foxes and the occasional raccoon. But, but uh, yeah, that's the way she goes. So, anyway, just a little update on this morning. She's a cloudy day. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain. We could definitely use it. But they were talking about an 80% chance of one millimeter, which is like that much water and it won't really be noticeable we, we could definitely use some rain things have been dry this year quite a contrast from last year we could hardly make any hay it was so wet and, uh, and now it's the opposite we can make great hay but there's not enough water in the ground so little update from us i uh, hope you enjoy please like share subscribe and uh, drop your comments down below and any future videos you'd like to see it's been a while since we've posted some but uh, we do enjoy uh, hearing back from you guys and we really appreciate all your support so we'll catch you on the next one.